Hi, class. Hi, Hi uh, my name is Ayo Nitas, and I'm going to teach about inferences. Can anyone, does anyone even know what an inference is? No. 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 Great. So here's the definition of an inference. The inference is when you read a text and you actually come up with an idea just from reading the text and from experiences in your own life. Mm. So here's a tip. If you want to make an inference, try to put yourself in the character's place, in their shoes. And when you're able to do that, you can easily make inferences. So if it helps you, let's pretend to be detectives. And what do detectives do? They try to figure out why people do things and why people feel a certain way. So let's start off with this example. Let's dive in. I want someone to read this for me. Could you read this for me? Yes. <clears throat> Kyle ran into his house, slamming the door behind him. He threw his book bag on the floor and plopped onto the couch. After six hours of playing Grand Lar... It's Grand Larceny the Seventh. Ah, okay. Grand Larceny the Seventh. He ate some pizza and fell asleep with a slice on his stomach and his feet on his book bag. When Kyle came home from school the next day, he was noticeably distraught. He balled up his report card and placed it inside a soup can in the garbage. He then flipped the soup can upside down in the garbage can and arranged loose pieces of trash over it. As he plopped down on the couch, he let out a sigh and picked up his controller. Wow. Thank you, Christian. That was very loud and very clear. Very understandable. So now I'm going to ask you three questions. And these three questions are going to lead you to make your first inferences. So my first question is, why is Kyle distraught? Oh, me, me, me. Yes, George. Because he was playing six hours of video games? Close. That was a nice guess. Is there anyone that can help out George? Shaki? Because he got a band grade. Oh, great. That's actually the correct answer. So, we from reading this text, we know Kyle actually got a bad grade. So here's my second question. Why did Kyle put his report card in the suit can? Mm. Brittany? Uh, maybe he wanted to hide his bad grade. Oh, so thank you. That's actually correct. Now, I actually need the student to come up here and actually underline the detail that shows that he was trying to hide his report card. Christian? Mm. Perfect. So here's the thing about authors. The authors, they don't tell us every single detail. The author could have easily written down that he was trying to hide his paper, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. So what, what did the author do? The author actually wrote this sentence. He flipped the soup can upside down in the garbage can and arranged loose pieces of trash over it. So just from reading from that sentence, we can tell Kyle was trying to hide his report card. So now here's the last question. Why did he get a bad grade? Does anyone have an answer? Brittany? Um, maybe because he didn't study. Uh -huh. Great answer. Now I want Shaki, could you please come over here and circle what clues in the text show you that he didn't study hard enough? What else? Thank you, Shaki. So what is she circle? She herself with six hours of playing grand larceny. He fell asleep and he didn't even touch his books to study. Mm -hmm. So clearly the author didn't tell us that he that he got a bad grade or why he got the bad grade. So he gave us little clues. He gave us clues throughout the text of why he got the bad grade. So now let's think about this. Have you guys ever had an experience where you guys got a bad grade? Yeah. yeah. So right now I want you guys to think about what caused you to get a bad grade. Put yourself in Kyle's shoes. Mm -hmm. So now let's have our cheer. This cheer is gonna help us remember all about inferences. So I'm gonna make three statements, and after each statement, you say infer, infer. So let's start it off. Okay, first statement. When the words are not all there. Infer, infer. When the author leaves a clue. 
Infer, infer. When we take a closer look. Infer, infer. Thank you, class. You're lovely students.